Hello my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to to build your NAS uh, storage. Uh, you can build your own NAS from a uh, old computer if you have any spare uh, computer or laptop you can build your own NAS so um, I think everyone knows what is what NAS is and if you doesn't know what is what means you can go Google and type NAS and network attached storage you can use wikipedia to know what is NAS okay so my project is I build my own NAS well, with this using a Synology NAS okay so what I have here is um, DS3612XS okay so if I look the price of this NAS okay so this NAS is a uh, high performance NAS and if I look at the specification it is a uh, uh, Intel Core i3 3.1 gigahertz 2 gigabytes DDR3 and supports 12 hard drives so it's 180 terabytes it's, it's a lot of space but what I have here my own Synology if I log in here um, Okay, so what I have here, if I go to system information, I can see I'm running the same Synology, okay, uh, the same, the same model number, but look at the CPU clock is 1.5, two cores, and the memory is one gigabyte. Okay, so I'm running this from a, a laptop. I'm gonna show you in a minute. So what the storage I have it from from the the laptop is one uh, hard drive. It's a 40 gigabytes hard drive the internal hard drive I'm using the the network um, the LAN this is the service run, I'm running uh, no report okay. right. let's have a look at the machine I'm running this server This is the this is a laptop. Is um, Aspire Aspire One running a Synology server with the external hard drive one terabyte. No, actually it's two terabytes through the USB port. Okay, and this is. Um, this is like uh, a uh, Synology systems running through the USB. This make uh, the system boot on like Linux, and the computer is running the server. So it makes a Synology server for the NAS. I'll show you how to to boot the system. Okay. In order to start the server, what I need to do is uh, once you install all the files here on the USB, okay, 
USB stick you need to power on your computer and restart using the USB so you can press F12 or depending on your laptop and you can choose the USB okay now I have the group file so it's starting up the system okay now the system is up and running so if I go to to my computer and if I look for the the server I need to wait a little bit until it gets connected to the to the server. Yeah, it's still is not it's still not running. So Mimo is okay Mimo get out. That's my assistant. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. And then press connect. Okay, now the system is on again. Okay, another thing I want to show you how to get access through the NAS. When you build your NAS, you can get access through the Synology Assistance. If you double click there and once you see the IP you right click on top and click connect okay. right so we are in the Synology uh, manager okay. and uh, the uptime is two days so I have the machine on for two days so on the machine you have a control panel, um, you have a system information, I uh, have this resource monitor, so you can see the CPU utilization, um, the utilization of the memory, the CPU, the disk, So you can see some proc process as well. Okay, current connection only myself. Uh, some speeds and uh, some events. Okay, I can check from the file station. I can see musics, uh, all the files inside my 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 NAS also from my computer as, as well you can, you can see everything uh, all files here download station is something similar to um, torrent you can see you can uh, add some torrents here and leave the NAS doing all the downloads video station you can once you have videos added to your library you can watch movies from other devices or from through the website through the web web server the NAS web server audio station is the same thing once you add all your musics to the to the machine you can listen all the musics here flex media server flex media server you can store your movies music some channels as well so the quality is if I'm running in my internal um, internal network will be run really fast you see? 
accept your surrender. You can watch him full screen as well. Right. So there is a lot of things you can do once you go to package center. You can see all available softwares to download to your mouse. You can build your own web server. If I type my IP, I can get to the web service. I think I have. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, WordPress. Okay, this is only a test for the WordPress. I have a PHP my admin here as well. So I have the same. Everything is here. There is a lot of features on using a Synology NAS so I hope you enjoy guys and I I will let you know how to install the Synology on your old computer so see you next time